In today's tutorial, we're going to go over Snapseed. We're going to take this photo here, bounce it on over into Snapseed, and go ahead and make it look a little bit more awesome. So, here we go. If we jump over to Snapseed, Snapseed looks like the little leaf up there in the corner. So we're going to go ahead and click on Snapseed. Press the plus to add a photo. There it is. So we're going to click on that guy. Now, down on the bottom, let me give you a quick little overview of Snapseed here. We've got Looks, Tools, and Export. Looks are basically filters that we have across the bottom there. And then Tools takes us inside our image. Once we're done making edits, then we can press the Export. So that's where we're going to start. So first things first, let's jump into our Tools, and let's go ahead and make a couple little adjustments here. If I press the Tune Image, now the way things work with Snapseed is up and down and side to side. So if I put my finger on the screen and go up, I get all of these little choices here. Now another thing that you can do is click on the little three lines at the bottom there. Go ahead and click on that. And there's your options and you can just scroll on through that. So first thing that I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and uh, brighten it up a little bit. I think it's a little bit dull, so I'm going to pull that over just a little bit. If I go to the right, it goes super bright, and go to the left, it goes super dark. So I'm going to go up just a little to about there, and then I'm going to put a little bit more color in. And the ambience takes care of the whole thing. Once again, you don't want to overdo it or underdo it. So let's go back to the ambience there. I'll pop some of that in. Okay. And I'm going to go to my contrast. Contrast is differences between highlights and shadows there. So I'm going to, if I pop it all the way up, it gets a little bit crazy. And if I go all the way down, oops, to my here, it gets a little bit washed out and muted. So I'm just going to add just a little bit there. So there's my settings as of right now. You can see a before and an after if I just press and hold my finger on the screen. Once I like it, I'm going to go ahead and press the little check mark in the bottom right hand corner there. And I'm going to go back into my tools and do a little bit more along the way here. So the tune image, that was always a fun one. Let me go in and show you the selective tool. The selective tool, I want to play around with the pumpkins. So I'm going to pinch to zoom and bring in my pumpkins. From here, notice how there's a blue plus at the bottom. If I just click on my pumpkin there, it automatically drops a little dot. Now notice that it's blue. I'm going to pinch to zoom and bring it back to the, right about there, the same size as the pumpkin. And you'll notice that that's all that's being selected versus massive, and it's selecting a lot. So I'm going to go to just the pumpkin. The same thing as tune image. If I go up and down, it shows me brightness, contrast, saturation, and structure. So I want to make the pumpkin a little bit more bright, push out some of those shadows a little bit, and then the structure. I want to keep the, the structure happening or saturation in the structure. I still want to have those the little dark parts there. Alright, so there's my bright pumpkin. Now here's something pretty fun about Snapseed. Click off the letters there. You'll notice that it changes to gray. Well, I can't do anything. It's going to zoom in and out now. So what I want to do is I actually want to click on the pumpkin, click on the S, and I want to copy that. Now I'm going to click off so I can scroll over to the other side here. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and press the check the plus again, make it blue, and now I'm going to go ahead and click on that second pumpkin. Do the same thing, make my selection just for the pumpkin, and this time click it again and press paste. Now it automatically takes all those adjustments that I had on my first pumpkin and adds it over. So let's go ahead and do a little before and after. Alright, we like that. That look 
That's looking pretty darn good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do check. So there's our before and our after. Now I have a whole bunch of kind of wasted space off to the right hand side there. So I'm going to go back to my, my tools here, press on the crop, and I'm going to make it a square. You have all of these options down below here, but I'm going to go with the square. I'm going to slide that over a little bit. And right about there. So now I'm going to press the check mark. There we go. Now I still have a little bit of that pillow down there in the corner. So I'm going to go tools and I'm going to go healing. Let me zoom back in. And I'm going to try to get rid of that pillow. Now that did a pretty decent job for the for the most part. Let me undo it again here. Right, that looks pretty good, and if I just kind of click around, it starts kind of making it look a little bit better. So, super easy. I'm going to go all the way back again here. I want to be careful of my, my pumpkin, though. I don't want to get any of my pumpkins selected. There we go. Make sure I'm there. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and zoom back out, say check. You'll notice that there's my before, there's my after. I don't have any more pumpkins sitting in there. Um, let's go into tools one more time. And from here, let's go ahead and add a vignette. It's that bottom left-hand corner. And basically what a vignette is, is... Uh, I can go outer, inner, and if I go all the way down, you'll notice that it gets black, and if I go up, it turns to white. And I want to go just a little bit, put a little bit of emphasis there, and right about there. There's before, there's my after. I'm going to go back into tools. Let's play with some details a little bit here. Keep those the pumpkin a little bit more sharpen okay I might want to go back in and to my selective tools here and put one on that flower let's go ahead and move it on down brighten up the flowers a little bit put some contrast back in it some structure saturation all right, so now I've got the nice flowers kind of popping as well. So I like that. It's looking pretty good. Now, the pretty fun and awesome thing about Snapseed is maybe... Let's just go back in. Let's do one more here. Maybe while I'm over here kind of playing with the, uh, the red flowers. We'll just do one like that. Maybe I don't want the red flowers to be quite as is vibrant. Well if I go to the upper right hand corner to the arrow with the little squares underneath click on that I can go to my view edits and there's all of my edits that I've done so if I don't want it I can go down and just take stuff off right? the other thing I can do is I can go into my edits by clicking the little arrow and back to the three lines there and now I can go ahead and once again, make some more adjustments. Maybe I do want to have a little bit darker, but maybe I want some more saturation to it. There we go. When we're done, we press the little back arrow, and now we have a little bit more of a bright, shiny image. Now from here, we're going to go export, and we have a whole bunch of options here. Save, save a copy, and export. I like to save a copy. That way it gives me my original and my edited version. So I'm going to save a copy. And done and done. If I jump back into my photo album, you'll notice that there's the, the original and there's the edited version. So now we're done. We have our photo. We can then go in and send that over to the Instagrams or wherever we want to go. So that's a little bit about Snapseed. Once again, a lot of it is coming down to just playing around, getting
getting to know those tools and what all they can do. So until next time, we'll see y'all later.